Tesla's gotten a lot of attention for their full self-driving technology called Autopilot, but is this really all it's cracked up to be? I think we need to look at some facts about what Autopilot is and what it isn't. Let's start with what Tesla itself says about Autopilot. So this is from an email from Eric Williams, Tesla's associate general counsel, final release of City Streets, which is what Tesla is calling their full self-driving beta, will continue to be an SAE level two advanced driver assist feature. Now, what does this mean in reality? It means that the driver is actually in control. If there's an issue with level two autonomy, the driver has to take over. And so this is not really a full self-driving feature at all. But when is Tesla gonna get there? Well, Williams answered that as well. Please note that Tesla's development of true autonomous features, SAE level three, four, and five, will follow our iterative process and any such features will not be released to the general public until we have fully validated them and received any required regulatory permits or approvals. So that's pretty straightforward. Right now, Tesla doesn't have a level three, level four, or level five product on the street. And if it ever does, it's gonna test them rigorously beforehand. So where do we stand on that testing? I do wanna thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Check out the link below or go to fool.com slash rive to receive their top 10 best stock picks to buy right now. Well, here it's pretty easy to check this ourselves. Companies that are testing autonomous vehicles in the state of California need to get a permit. And there are a few levels to this permit. The simplified version is there is a permit holder for testing with a driver. There are dozens of companies that have this permit, including Tesla, which you can see right here. Beyond that, we have permits for driverless testing. So these are the cars that are driving around town with no driver in them, but they also don't have any passengers. There are only a handful of companies. The ones that I want to highlight here are Cruise. This is a company that's majority owned by General Motors, Waymo, which is owned by Alphabet, and Zooks, which is owned by Amazon. The permit holders for deployment is the most advanced that we have currently. Cruise Neuro, which is the company that's delivering Domino's pizzas around the Bay Area. And then Waymo are the three companies who have gotten that far with their permitting. And what they're building is level four autonomy. So this is where the car itself can drive around, but it's in a localized area or geofenced is what they sometimes call it. What you can note here is that Tesla is not a permit holder for driverless testing or deployment. So they're not even testing level three, level four, or level five autonomy in the state of California. I think that's really telling for where we are with self-driving right now in Tesla's technology. For context, Cruise and Waymo have put millions of miles on their cars in full autonomous testing. They now have vehicles out there in the wild with customers riding around in them. They seem to be years ahead of Tesla as far as the technology goes. They're also using LiDAR with their vehicles, something that Tesla isn't doing and may have to retrofit depending on what regulations end up looking like long-term. I think it's worth investors understanding that Tesla is not the leader that they seem to be with full self-driving and it's evident based on their own statements and what we see from regulators in the state of California. If Tesla was really serious about this, they would be testing in California, but they don't even have a permit for testing vehicles without a driver. They're likely millions of miles of testing away from getting a permit for full deployment. And that's really ultimately where they want to be. That may be years in the future for the company. And I think that's worth putting in your investment thesis.